By the powers vested in me as Vice Chancellor and Principal, I hereby constitute this assembly as a legal congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, degrees and diplomas with all the associated rights and privileges will be conferred and awarded to the candidates whose names appear in the program. We request all of you to join us in silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements of our students. As Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Pretoria, I extend a hearty word of welcome to you at this virtual graduation ceremony. I would like to welcome the Dean and the Deputy Dean of the Faculty, along with all persons to whom degrees and diplomas will be conferred and awarded to. We also welcome families, friends and spouses to this virtual graduation ceremony. This is the third virtual graduation ceremony the university has held in the past year, after we were obliged to depart from the traditional graduation format as a result of COVID-19 pandemic, which as you know, has made large physical gatherings impossible for the time being. Our first virtual graduation season commenced just 10 days after the declaration of the national state of disaster towards the end of March, 2020. It was memorable, not only for that sobering reason, but also for a more agreeable one. During those first virtual ceremonies, the University of Pretoria conferred 11,001 qualifications on graduates in absentia. This was a record number for the university and one of the largest graduating cohorts, if not the largest in South Africa at the time. I'm delighted to share with you that the autumn 2021 graduation season is now breaking that record. In this graduation season, we'll be conferring a total of 11,424 qualifications, including 198 doctorates and 1,289 master's degrees. This is a great achievement, especially in these uncertain and unpredictable times. Such an achievement is simply magnificent. I mean this on two levels. One is the outstanding personal effort you put into persevering with your studies when normal study routines and methodologies had suddenly been upended. And I'll say more about this later. The other level concerns the collective contribution of this graduating cohort to the skills of our country and more broadly our continent. Compared to the rest of the world, South Africa and Africa as a, as a whole a very low graduation rates per capita, a state of affairs that perpetually widens the skills gap. The fact that we at the University of Pretoria are now graduating such a large number of cohort of graduates is good news indeed for the development of our country and the continent. But this welcome injection of skills is not only about numbers. Just as important are the kinds of skills and the quality of skills that you, our graduates, will be bringing with you into whatever career or study pathway you choose to pursue from this point. For instance, the University of Pretoria students once again excelled in the ITC, the initial test of competence, which is the first professional exam for prospective chartered accountants. In November 2020, students from our Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences again achieved first position in South Africa. This feat followed on the first place we achieved in the January 2020 ITC, when an unprecedented seven out of the top 10 students in the country were from this university. In addition, UP won the 2020 Chartered Institute of Management Accountants SEMA Prize Winner Excellence Award, as well as the Institute's Global Excellence Award at its first ever virtual award ceremony. These awards recognize university partners with top performing SEMA students in case study exams, as well as university partners that have achieved the highest pass rates for SEMA exams. What makes these accomplishments even more special is that our students excelled despite the disruption of having their ITC exam deferred from June 2020 to November 2020 owing to lockdown regulations. Well done to everyone of you who was part of this incredible effort. 
Not content with notching up all the accomplishments I've just listed, we are also making history. One of our PhD graduates, Dr. Tumeka Mashova Raimudzisi, is the first black female chartered accountant to receive a PhD in leadership. This is a noteworthy achievement, testament to your commitment and dedication. Congratulations. If time permitted, which it unfortunately does not, there will be many other examples of achievement under pressure that I could share with you as testimony to the resilience and endurance of the human spirit. In my book, every one of you has shown resilience and endurance during unprecedented turbulence and upheaval. The university is proud of you all. All your hard work, tenacity and resilience has helped to get you to this point. Yes, the Institute certainly played its part. As the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Investor of Pretoria, I know what efforts and energies were invested in keeping the academic program going and enabling our students to succeed during the most protracted campus closures in our history. But what stands out for me is not the effort UP made in rolling out laptops and remote learning technologies, so much as the skills you, our graduates, gained from the experience. For our graduates to make a difference in society, they need to be creative, flexible, resilient, entrepreneurial, and collaborative. I can state with confidence that this graduating cohort has these qualities in abundance. They will serve you and our country well. The university too has learned a lot from this pandemic. As you know, our preferred mode of teaching and learning before this health crisis has been the hybrid approach, a delivery model that makes use of traditional classroom-based learning tools supplemented by online and technology-supported activities. On the strength of our experiences online during this pandemic, we are reimagining the modes of teaching and learning that we are adopting for the future. Teaching and learning are going to be interesting spaces for innovation, creativity, and experimentation. Above all, we aim to provide a rich interactive experience that is educative and not just instructional, and which results in well-educated, skilled, socially engaged and sensitive graduates eager to transform our society, our continent and the world. We also aim to enable students to become graduates who can engage in lifelong learning where they unlearn and relearn. In this way, they can navigate the emerging world of work that is an outcome of multiple disruptions of the life and the world as we know it, including the disruptions caused by rapid technological change. In the near future, we'll be launching a center for the study of the future of work. Allow me to touch briefly on the disruptions you, our graduates, experienced during your studies in 2020. I know that all of you were affected by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic while you were studying. However, what I and my colleagues at the university do not necessarily know is what trials and tribulations you individually and personally experience while completing your qualification. We do not know the, what difficulties and distractions were going on around you while you were studying for that crucial test or writing or revising the next chapter of your thesis or dissertation or what additional responsibilities you took on in your living space and with regard to your loved ones while soldiering through your year of completion. Were you perhaps one of the many South Africans separated from loved ones as a result of traveling restrictions and border closures? What personal sadnesses and sufferings and hardships did you endure as a result of COVID or otherwise in that most crucial time of your studies? Did you suffer loss of family and close ones, friends, fellow students, or colleagues? My colleagues and I cannot know what your lived experience was as you told to complete your degree, diploma, or certificate. What we do know without a shadow of doubt is that your success is hard won and deeply deserved. Earning a qualification from the Investor of Pretoria is an achievement to cherish. Earning qualifications in the time of COVID-19 is in a class of its own. 
you, together with the 11,001 graduates of autumn 2020 and the 1,380 graduates of summer 2020, are unique. You have succeeded, and we celebrate your achievement today. On behalf of the broader community of the University of Pretoria, please accept my heartfelt congratulations. Your graduation ceremony is your moment of triumph to savor, celebrate, share with family and friends, and remember for the rest of your life. We hope to one day return to physical graduation ceremonies where graduates can walk across the stage in the presence of family and friends and take photographs. For now, virtual graduation ceremonies such as these play an indispensable role in your journey with the university. This is because a virtual graduation is a legally constituted assembly that enables you to formally graduate so that you can receive your certificate and use it to open whatever doors you have intended to unlock, whether in the form of further studies, course at the University of Pretoria, or in your career or profession. May it lead you to more opportunities and serve you well. Turning now to the future, in the same way that you and your fellow graduates are on the stage of the next stage of fulfilling your dreams for your life, so is the University of Pretoria. As I briefly mentioned earlier, we've been using the challenges presented by the global health pandemic to begin rethinking, reimagining, and repositioning the university itself. The university can play an essential role in co-creating the country and continent we want post-COVID-19. Here at the University of Pretoria, we see an opportunity to be one of the agents and drivers of change in Africa and globally, finding and deploying innovative ways to address poverty, unemployment, inequality, and social injustice. UP, as you know, is a hub for new ideas. When it comes to COVID-19 research, we are involved at multiple levels. We are researching genome profiles to be able to identify who in the population is at higher risk of contracting fatal viruses and other diseases. We are also researching how people in society behave during a pandemic. Because if we don't understand this, we cannot manage the spread optimally. We have participated in international COVID-19 clinical trials and produced sanitizers, face masks, and face shields. Our Faculty of Health Sciences quickly incorporated COVID-19 into the primary health care curriculum. This is how we will need to respond to pandemics in the future, with rapid responses focused on multi-sectoral interventions. For example, our university is the only representative from Africa in the new University Social Responsibility Network, an international group of 16 top universities. And last year, the Times Higher Education's impact rankings rated UP among the top 100 universities in the world for its social and economic impact in three categories based on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, otherwise known as the SDGs. These are quality education, industry, innovation and infrastructure, and peace, justice, and strong institutions. We envisage a better, more sustainable world characterized by prosperity, genuine democracy, peace, equity and equality, social justice, and ethical use of all resources. And we are convinced we can co-create this just new world through high-quality hybrid teaching together with transdisciplinary research and social engagement that is impactful. And of course, this co-creation must harness the collective expertise, energies, and goodwill of our family of alumni, among whom you, the season's graduates, can now be counted. As the new alumni of the Investor of Pretoria, remember the values from UP to always strive for excellence, persevere, respect everyone, be creative, innovate, embrace diversity, grow, be a lifelong learner, be kind, and make a difference every day. This is what makes the UP way of life. I appeal to you to be part of our quest to rethink, reimagine, and reposition the investor Pretoria, and in so doing, contribute to the co-creation of the Africa we want. Please take the next step by downloading the UP Connect Graduate app. 
keeping you connected to your alma mater and offering access to the many opportunities available to our alumni wherever in the world you are. Remember to always keep in contact with the alumni office at UP and let us know when your contact details change. No matter where you end up in the world, remember that you are part of the UP family, whose overarching strength is its diversity in terms of staff, students, the programs offered, and areas of research that define its excellence. We are an institution on its way to becoming a beacon for demographic diversity and inclusivity, a future-oriented and focused university that is a driver of social change. Congratulations on your graduation and enjoy the celebrations with your loved ones. Take pride in the sense of achievement that comes with knowing that you have excelled against all odds. I hereby confer and award all degrees and diplomas in absentia with the associated rights and privileges to all candidates whose names appear in the graduation program. School of Medicine Doctor of Philosophy Tanvir Gulam Mohammed Medical Microbiology Thesis Lung microbiome of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease patients with and without HIV infection in Pretoria, South Africa. Supervisor Professor M. M. Ellis van der Schaal. Co supervisor Professor R. P. H. Peters. Sebashni Govinda, Anatomy. Thesis The anatomical description of the erectus spinae, paravertebral, and epidural block for post operative pain management in pediatric care. Supervisor Professor A. van Square. External co supervisor Professor A. T. Bosenberg. Melena Guarido, Medical Virology. Thesis Identification and phylogenetic analysis of AD species and arboviruses associated with them across tropical and temperate regions of South Africa between 2015 and 2018. Supervisor Professor M. Fenter, Co Supervisor Professor A. P. Govea de Almeida, Rachel Holgate. Anatomy Thesis A multidisciplinary approach to investigate the manifestations of diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis in modern South African skeletal remains. External Supervisor Professor M. Blichnote Stein Co Supervisor Professor E. N. Laabe Ismail Lawal Medical Nuclear Science Thesis GA68 Pentixa4 PET or CT imaging of vascular expression of chemokine receptor 4 as a marker of arterial inflammation in patients with human in immunodeficiency virus infection and its comparison with F18 FDG PET CT imaging Supervisor Professor M. M. Satege Co-Supervisor Professor A. C. Stoltz Tabo Lingana Medical Nuclear Science Thesis 18F PSMA 1007 in Recurrent Prostate Cancer A New Frontier in Prostate Cancer PET Imaging Supervisor Professor M. M. Satege Co-Supervisor Professor M. Foster Maralies Nodia Anatomy Thesis A comparison of arterial measurements between a South African cadaver and living sample as affected by age, sex, height and weight Supervisor Professor A. Van Squer Co-Supervisor Professor P. J. Tutoin Bong Aki She Medical Microbiology Thesis Assessment of macrophage and granulocyte cell enhanced phagocytosis 
of Mycobacterium tuberculosis by novel monoclonal antibodies. Supervisor Professor P. B. Fari. Co supervisor Professor T. M. Rousseau. Rian van Koller. Neurology. Thesis A clinical neurophysiological and genetic study of South African familial combined myoclonic syndromes. Supervisor Professor C. Skitter. Mariki van Rooyen, a family medicine, a thesis, the application of two capability models to support fourth year medical students' learning. Supervisor, Professor R. Dalport. External co-supervisor, Professor J. Bezadenoth. Master of Medicine. Dermatology. Tebucho Mulala Family Medicine Ehima Ehabor Internal Medicine Johan van der Waat with Distinction Medical Virology Mulefi Murobadi Neurology Ravendran Kisten with distinction. Ophthalmology Charles Mayer Otto Laryngology Sibulele Gizula Mashaze Ramatabana Pediatrics Abigail Sambelo Rineilwe Nchabeling Jethan Thomas Magda Ferster Psychiatry Nadia Baker Master of Medicine Anesthesiology Louisa Siliers Emergency Medicine Brule Human Internal Medicine Barbara Makumbi Obstetrics and Gynecology Ayanda Mini Ophthalmology Cabello Sibohodi Orthopedics Nicholas Mnisi Anatomical Pathology Beni Musuane Chemical Pathology Tumelo Satehe Medical Microbiology Lebohang Skosana Plastic Surgery Yaku Kotza Psychiatry Matthews Banda Yashna Mohangi Monica Morwe Shonisani Rapalalani Zugiswa Tzolegile Devet Surgery Tiffany Pratt Master of Philosophy Gynological Oncology Bongomusa Makatini with Distinction Pediatric Endocrinology and Metabolism Maria Casas with Distinction Philosophy and Ethics of Mental Health Ashley Collin with Distinction Stephanie Jacobs Deborah Malete Palisa Mukwena Master of Science Anatomy Maritza Liebenberg with Distinction Samantha Miller Anwane Nekumbe with Distinction Chemical Pathology Sachin Bora with Distinction Matamela Mabugana 
Human Physiology Udochi Azubuike with Distinction Lichka Grunewald Lebohang Matutule Mikateko Ngumalo Medical Criminalistics Catherine de Villiers Medical Microbiology Dinewo Bohoshi with Distinction Medical Virology Michaela Davids Colin Hrobler with Distinction Odette Smith Pharmacology René De Beer with Distinction Melvin Shabalala Sports Medicine Jessica Omey Blanco with Distinction Marcel Uester with Distinction Sanushka Pele Clement Plaikis Lizay Marie van Staden Sports Science Izan de Jager with Distinction Justin Swan Sports Science Biokinetics Jonah Young with Distinction Master of Early Childhood Intervention Tanya Siliers Shante Dalhousie Kayla Ferri Oliswa Fredericks Tammy Hreilen Jana Marinkovitz Nobesutu Miele Uvira Mohangi Sukana Devi Munsami Maria Motudi Kelly Jade Mbangase Bronwyn Potgieter Fatima Rawat Sherry Skitte Emily Sonnenberg Cecil Stein Cherise Trinworth Maurice van der Ross Ashley van Eerden Postgraduate Diploma General Ultrasound Macy Nguane Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery Chandani Abekumar Desai Udu Agachi with Distinction Wasim Alibokas Nomen Achia with Distinction Anya Bartenhorst with Distinction Yuvna Balgubind Babalwa Bango Dion Basson with Distinction Wesley Bernarda with Distinction Angelique Benz Stephanie Bender James Benningfield Wesley Benson Anna Bester with Distinction Madeleine Bester Nathan Bester Sue Elise Bester with Distinction Lawrence Biggs with Distinction Daniel Blankenberg Henry Blichnoud Cerrito Bonafede 
Michael Boshoff Gertruido Boeta Lana Boeta with distinction Ekta Bramdev with distinction Donnie Brink David Brink with distinction Sarah Ann Brown Bettina Boabing Baidu with distinction Nina Buchner with distinction Brendan Baisman Kyle Bullock Jade Kabula with distinction Ingrid Carstens with distinction Isabella Casilli with distinction Zahir Kasimji Lorraine Chambuka Victoria Chandler with distinction Crystal Sillias Linda Gushe Trindi Shanti Clausen Andrea Kutsia with distinction Mary Kutsia with distinction Kwan Kutsia Rebecca Kochlin with distinction Talita Kombrank with distinction Sasha Corlett with distinction Michelle Kramer with distinction Francois Darvel with distinction Tatiana de Aveiro Yehu de Villiers Jessica de Vett with distinction Henry de Vett with distinction Jennifer Dalport with distinction Sofia Demetrio Celine Deschamps Kaylee Dezulovic with distinction Togozile Lamini Ryan Donaldson Etienne Duplessis Andre Duprier Borent Duprier Jeanu Durant Nawid Ibrahim Essa with distinction Bilal Isaac with distinction Masia Esop with distinction Marcus Esterizen with distinction Emmanuel Faleye Stephanus Ferreira Janet Fune with distinction Patuchezzo Fezzani Michelle Furi Togozisa Kambushe Suhail Gangat Melissa Gobertz with distinction Kimberly Goto Sunalda Khaus with distinction Carla Hreiling with distinction Ngokwana Kwebu with distinction Kojo Jebi Sukhra Hakim Sarah Hamwe Cecil Harley Fatimatu Azahra Harar Dievald Hart with distinction 
Rukhsar Hira with distinction. Andiswa Hewu with distinction. Johannes Wichenbusum with distinction. Lauren Hughes. Sasha Hurst with distinction. Laraib Hussein. Pratiksha Imrith. Talia Aya. Francois Jacobs with distinction. Yasira Jagot. Lezon Janse van Rinsberg. Vian Janse van Rinsberg. Nicole Janse van Vieren with distinction. Deepthi John with distinction. Prithi John with distinction. Michelle Jones with distinction. Raiden Juta with distinction. Kanduuri Kairehu. Varnu Katska with distinction. Rachel Carey. May Kanlav with distinction. Nonkululeko Kumalo. Pretty Girl Kumalo. Marilis Kleinans with distinction. Michelle Quirtzen. Do Kotze with distinction. Moriet Kotze with distinction. Bibi Kosa. Anai Krier with distinction. Lindy Krier. Cornelius Krier with distinction. Nabiha Karambukas Rivonia Kutame Gwendolyn Kutu Anali Lahout Vili Latakhan Imre Laubscher Maria Larue Rama Isela Libelo Jordan Lekler Maketa Lipahamela Nena Litete with distinction Maide Litualo Mpo Liuna Johanna Linda Kitty Ludolf Amor Lombard Nadia Lowe with distinction Ndiso Mabojo Kiamuhezi Mabusela Mwako Machaba Varuna Maharaj with distinction Suhail Mohammed with distinction Nerika Malan with distinction Aldrian Malherba with distinction Mulibazi Manaka Sanelisiwe Mangaele Andani Mapalu Nomtandazo Mapanga Paballo Mapolo Mashoboke Masemola Mabel Mashamba Nwabisa Mashii Isaac Masoleng Michelle Matanire 
Tando le nkosi matabela. Priscilla matale. Tinashe matiba. Bonolo majihane with distinction. Patience matala with distinction. Mudana nalwo machinya zimbi. Zintle mazibuko. Zanele mbana. Songezo mbangi. Vincent McKinnon. Arthur McKinnon with distinction. Fatima Mir with distinction. Claudia Mendonza. Togozani Mveya. Kuzo Mklaba. Ayanda Mklaope. Tanai Mitten. Kukuletu Mjwara with distinction. Tabani Mkwanazi. Sindisiwe Mlangeni. Otwell Mlodra. Palisa Mfukeng. Matibe Mohlala. Uratilwe Moilwa with distinction. Dipulelo Mokwena with distinction. Nomatemba Mokwena. Dinewo Muloi. Mamakiri Molukwane. Muhammad Musa Zanele Mutibe Kiorapezi Mutlasedi Tsepiso Mpeteng Tandi Mpureji Winifred Msumba Dumsani Mtembu Sbusiso mtweni. Palisa mtwa. Natasha Miller with distinction. Astrid Nochel. Tiara Naidu with distinction. Florence Ngobeni with distinction. Kwanda Ngwenya. Annelisa Ngwejeni. Zintle Ntlapo. Nomasonto Ntlazane. Michelle Ninen with distinction. Molisa Nkumeleni. Rachel Nkwana. Malisela Nong. Tebucho Ntimane. Joshua Nunn with distinction. Tenele Ngumalo. Razon Olefir with distinction. Taren Olefir with distinction. Nawaz Omar. Matiam Wustazen with distinction and Papa Vanavas Stephanie Begram Feslin Peterson Masejo Pizze Shanae Pochenpu with distinction Anke Potchiter with distinction Jakobus Potchiter with distinction. Amir Prolau. Luan Pretorius. Unati Kangatla with distinction. Kamuhelo Ramaja. Ishk Ramsarup. Gabriela Ramsbottom 
with distinction. Lucretia Rangasemi. Shivana Rangasemi with distinction. Frederick Rapudi. Tamani Reddy with distinction. Licia Roberts with distinction. Michelle Rue with distinction. Kaylee Rugen. Amgelani Sarilla. Stephen Sass. Cornelis Scarp. Nicole Schultz with distinction. Harsha Sebastian with distinction. Jauelo Sibola. Nazreen Sidat with distinction. Samantha Shaw with distinction. Ndapandula Shilongo. Piliswa Sikonze. Caitlin Sims with distinction. Tia Singh with distinction. Pumlani Sepunzi. Stefina Stolle. Philippa Smart with distinction. Kristen Smithers. Poliswa Sobuwa. Sarah Lee Suklal. Vuyoletu Sudashe. Lauren Southwick. Gertruida Spoustra with distinction. Jacques Stone with distinction. Esti Stridom. Lizai Stridom. Giu Suen with distinction. Megan Sutherland with distinction. Divya Swaminathan with distinction. Minka Swart. Zizi Po Taleni. Tsehofato Tatai with distinction. Emma Templet. Wilmer Terblanche. Jan Anton Tron with distinction. Amilka Tobejane. Noko Tlabela. Mantadi Tlabadira. Mulebuheng Tulo. Rebecca Tsai. Mbali Shabango. Karabo Twenyane. Michel van Bouillon. Leanne van den Berg with distinction. Chris van der Merwe. Francois van der Merwe. Leonay van der Wald with distinction. Naomi van der Wald. Katharina van der Westhuizen with distinction. Eden van der Westhuizen with distinction. Magdalena van der Westhuizen with distinction. Alicia van Heerden with distinction. Brendan van Niekerk. Carly van Niekerk with distinction. Westenwald van Niekerk. Kristal van Rooyen. Michaela van Rooyen with distinction. Leonie van Seil. Madri Ferster with distinction. Clarice Thilyun with distinction. Brendan Viviers. 
Konrad von Maurer Liam Warikor Rahil Waja Kirsty Mons with distinction Aaron Warren Hansen with distinction Lee Weinberg with distinction Michaela Wells with distinction Lillian Wormuth Yumari Weyers with distinction Claire Wigan Bridget Wilson with distinction Maxine Wing Kyle Winnick with distinction Divan Vanderbach Johan Zachariah with distinction Achievement Awards LJ Tegroen Medal Michal van Billion Sama John Struthers Award Kyle Winnick Bongani Mayose Medical Students Academic Prize First Prize Nena Litete Second Prize Amulka Tobejane Department of Surgery Prize Janet Fion Ethicon Prize This prize is shared. Anna Bester, Google to Mjohara. Excellence in Clinical Pediatrics Prize, Wesley Bernarda. Fricky Engels Prize, Yumari Weyers. Family Medicine Prize, this prize is shared. Nazreen Sidat Kyle Winnick Nestle Prize Sasha Corlett Pediatrics Alumni Prize Suhail Mahomet The South African Academy for Family Medicine or Primary Care Prize This prize is shared Bettina Buabeng Baidu Isabella Casilli The South African Society of Anesthesiology Prize Dion Basson Sasog North Gauteng Prize This prize is shared Sohail Mahomet Bridget Wilson Sasog Prize This prize is shared Michelle Creamer Jacques Stone School of Medicine Prize Dion Basson School of Medicine Prize Sohail Mohammed Smith and Nephew Prize Yumari Weyers Let us give our graduates a big hand for their hard work and perseverance. I would like to thank the families, friends and spouses for supporting our graduates during their studies. We have now come to the end of the proceedings. Please join us in singing the national anthem.
By the powers vested in me, I hereby dissolve this assembly of the University of Pretoria. Oh.